Hello again everybody, this is Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today we're looking at a brand new 2021 Grand Design Reflection 367 BHS. Mid bunk, fifth wheel, huge living area, nice loft and mid bunk sleeping quarters. Um, let's get started and take a look. Hey guys, do me a favor, watch till the end of the video. I'll show you a quick clip with the slide outs in so you can see what you do and don't have access to. Also, if you have not yet already, give me a quick thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell in that bottom corner. What that'll do is give you a notification when new campers are put on. Be the first one to see new colors, new options, the new model years. So again, hit the bell. Quick thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Scott Hudgens, Dot RV. All right, starting on the inside. You see the pebble decor, sofa in the back, large refrigerator. Being the mid bunk, that's where we'll start. So as soon as you walk in, you've got a side door here, trifold sleeper sofa. We'll take a look at the setup and breakdown of that. All right, in the mid bunk, again, Velcro tabs, same setup in the living area. What's nice here is you've got plenty of room to walk around. So getting out on one side or the other, um, if you had a chair here, you got plenty of room, probably almost three feet from the end of this to the door. So room to walk around. There's your bed set up. And then for putting it back, just fold the legs in. Velcro tabs. Hold them in place. Cross breeze, the windows do open. Basically a little apartment room. You got a spot for TV, storage, nice deep drawers, got your own door, close off, heat, AC, roller shades throughout so you can black out. So nice mid bunk. Along with this mid bunk, you've got the loft. So a built in ladder. Here's your mattress, cubby hole storage areas. They got their own little roof vent, receptacle, light switch. And while we're upstairs, we'll stick with this level, your master bath. Nice walk-in shower, porcelain toilet with the foot flush, nice storage for linens. Stepping into the shower, you got the little bench. Again, I'm six foot five. I'm just above the top, but I am not in the skylight. Kind of eye level with the shower head. Nice vanity. Overhead lighting. Good storage down low. Nice deep drawers pocket door so you don't have to swing that door into the hallway you got plenty of room moving into the master bedroom again another door close that off looking at the queen walk around bed storage underneath on either side of the bed you do have receptacles receptacles and USB Again, roller shades, second AC, in the front compartment, nice blue LED lights. You are prepped for washer dryer. Dryer on one side, remove the shelves. Washer on the other, remove those shelves and you still have hanging space. Spot for a TV. Nice overhead storage, nice deep drawers. 
Moving down to the living area. Stairs, you do have an assist handle. Huge living area, even though you've got the mid bunk. Starting in the dinette area, that's a good way for the chairs to travel. Two chairs with storage underneath each of the butts. And then you do the ottoman which can be moved over in front of the sofa as a footrest and you got plenty of storage inside of it the backer does come off drawer underneath the table again nice roller shades throughout but nice big windows that do open you do have a dimmer, overhead storage over the theater seating. Does have heat, massage, LED lights. Do recline, Thomas Payne, cup holders, and storage. Directly across from the theater seating, you'll see the TV, fireplace, entertainment area. Tri-fold sleeper sofa does open up into a bed again. We'll take a look at that All right guys real quick Set up and break down of the tri-fold sleeper sofa Velcro tabs on the back keep those cushions in place Pull from the bottom you Got adjustable legs There's your sleeping area What's nice is you got plenty of storage for the cushions, linen, sheets, anything like that. Fold it back up. Quickly put the cushions right back in place. So easy setup and breakdown. Tri-fold sleeper sofa. Tons of overhead storage. Receptacles on either side. Fireplace does put out electric heat and the TV is on a swivel arm so you have access to get behind it easy as well. CD, AM, FM, DVD player, you can sync your phone, Bluetooth, USB, nice deep storage. In the kitchen area, nice large island. Tons of drawers. Spot for trash can, solid surface counter, but large stainless steel sink, spray head, well lit, you do have max air fan, the rain sensor, countertop space, again more deep storage, convection, microwave oven, three burner range, Nice large oven, pots and pans or pet drawer down low, large four door nor cold refrigerator freezer. It is gas and electric. So very popular one refrigerator dual freezer. Tons of storage motion sensor lighting you see kick on they do the nice little lip here keep your stuff in place overhead storage up top so that's for the inside your convenience area here your slide controls your lights check your holding tanks all in one area both awnings um, Lippert does the one touch controls. You can't sync your phone to that. So that's for the inside. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, moving to the outside. See the nice front cap. Nice logo on the front. Storage compartment. Spot for your battery. Motion sensor lighting. We also have 30 pound LP bottle on both sides. 
your storage area. Magnetic latches that hold that. Wide open storage. Convenience area's got your outside shower hookup, your water for winterization, all your valves there. Pool valves above the subfloor. Feed everything right through the bottom. Hook your cable, everything right in one nice clean area and keep the door shut because it is insulated and it's heated. Another motion sensor lighting. There are your controls for your auto leveling. LED lights under the slide out, keep you from banging your head. Sewer hookup, low point drains. It is six point auto leveling. Goodyear endurance tires, 16s. Moving around to the back. We're looking at a 50 amp service. You're equipped with two ACs. You do have a receiver on the back. Uh, you are looking at 300 pound hitch weight. Some states check you with your DMV. You're allowed to tow. You're looking at 3,000 pounds there because you got your, your uh, plug in as well. Prep for backup camera. You do have a factory installed ladder. We'll take a look at the roof. See the dual ACs. Your roof vents, your TV antenna, top of your slide outs. Moving around to the side, you got an awning on the face of the slide out to give you a little more patio space. Hook up for a TV and 110 receptacles. LED lights in the awning. Then you got a second awning here. Support arm in the middle, keep that uh, tube from sagging. Your storage on the door side. You've got a electric refrigerator, motion sensor lighting, receptacles, your battery disconnect, more receptacles, and then again, you can feed stuff right through the bottom. Magnetic latches and slam latch compartments. Spray head on both sides, so you got your quick connect here to spray off. Nice aluminum steps. Again, brand new, 2021 Grand Design Reflection 367 VHS. All right, slide outs in. No access to get into the living area. You can still get in the bathroom, no problem. Then the bed and the master bedrooms against the dresser, so is the sofa and the mid bunk. For this, you would probably need a good 10 seconds to open this enough to get in and then have full access to the refrigerator or the right side of the refrigerator. But slot outs in, pretty limited. 